solving linear equations, we always we, we already know what's supposed to be going on here. What you do to one side of the equation. Okay, you guys say it loud enough so it picks up on this microphone here. Do it to the other? You do it to the other side. All right. So let's go crazy here. If I take 3x minus 11 is equal to, what well, sounds good? <coughs> 34? Oh, that good. That's good. I remember when you're trying to solve, what are you trying to do? The x by itself. Get the x by itself, mm -hmm. and the fancy word for that is isolate. So how do I get x by itself? Add 11 to both sides. You add 11, because see, you're identifying that that's my variable. I want to get u by itself. <laughs> So I add 11 to the other side. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not going to be doing this the whole semester because this, to me, is a waste of time. We should be able to do this in our minds. So these guys cancel because it gives you a 0. A negative 11 plus 11 is 0. These are additive <coughs> inverses. So what am I left with in my equation? 3x equals 45. Now, I, did, I don't want 3 for 45. How much is just 1? <coughs> Divide both sides by 3 using the multiplication property of equality, and I find out that x equals 15. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. And I know what you guys want to do here. <coughs> Let's just put a nice, pretty little box around this. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I mean, I've got a little bow in here. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. We don't do hearts. Mm -hmm. Lest you forget my nickname. <coughs> Anywho. How do I know this answer is right? What do you mean, check, check it? Plug it back into the original guy. Now, I'm going to show this how we check here. I don't want to always be doing this. And we'll leave that a lot of times for you guys to do as an exercise. So if I check this guy, always go back to the original. You put in everything that was in the original, but use parentheses for the variable, and you put in what your solution was. We said it was 15. Does this work out? I get 45 minus 11. Does that equal 34? 34 equals 34. Everybody's happy. I know my answer is right, and I can move on. Are you happy? All day. Ooh. Yes. All day, I'm happy. Can't you see? Look at my hand. See how happy my hand is? We're happy. I think I'm going to start drawing little faces on here. So when I'm doing this, oh, look, <coughs> this person's real. This person's awesome. I'm going to do this guy, 2 times x plus 7 all over 5 is equal to, <coughs> let's see, 3x plus 1. How would you solve this equation? Let's get rid of this nasty fraction right here, the 5. The 5's in the way. If I multiply both sides times 5, so the left side and the right side times 5. Do you all agree? By multiplying the left side by 5, I'm going to get these 5's to reduce away, because what's 5 divided by 5? It's 1. So do I need to write a factor of 1? No. On the right side, does the 5 cancel with anything? No, so he's still going to have to be there, and we have to multiply him out. <laughs> so now what will you do in this equation? <laughs> 2x plus 14 is equal to what? 15x plus what? Plus 5. Plus five. Well, I've got x's on both, on both sides of the equation. What do I do now? How do you solve an equation that's linear like this. Get the x's to one side. We need to get all the like terms together. We're trying to get x by itself. So you've got to tell me, where do you want your x's to be, on the left or the right? On the right. Now, a lot of you will be OCD and say, no, 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 the x's are always on the left, always. I don't really care. I'm going to subtract 2x. So why am I choosing to subtract 2x? I have a positive coefficient for my x term, and that's going to make me happy. So there's my 13x. 
But if I move all my variables to the right side, where must my constants go? On the left, so how do I move them to the left? Subtract 5 on both sides of the equation, just like that. So we get 9. Finish solving for x, so what does x equal? X is equal to 9 thirteenths. Do you all agree? Now we can check this guy. And in fact, I'm going to let you guys check that on your own. 